Hey Gems, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long time and real quick before I even really start this video, I want to apologize, one, for my absence, two, that I did have to take my what I got for Christmas video down because if you guys did see that, there was a 10 minute chunk that I don't know what happened. It was just black. There was no audio, no video. I have no idea what happened between the editing process and uploading it to YouTube. So I did have to take that down. But in today's video, I am basically going to give you just a little recap of Christmas and share with you some of my favorite Christmas presents that I got this year. And yeah, also I am right after this video going to be doing a update where I've been, what's been going on, why the huge lack of videos over the last basically two and a half years. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But today, right now, this video, I just wanted to have some fun with you guys, share with you guys what I got for Christmas, some of my favorites, some of the highlights, and all that. One, I'm going to apologize to also, if you can hear whining in the background, that is because my dog Luna is in her kennel and she's not happy about it. You guys hear that? She's not dying or anything. She's just annoyed that she's in there and mom has to be out here filming. So let's get started. Christmas this year was probably one of my favorite most memorable Christmases I have had in so, so long. Uh, I mean, years and years and years. Um, not anything to do with like my actual family, but just in general. This Christmas was absolutely amazing. We had so much fun. It was so chilled and relaxed. We got to do a lot of like Christmassy things leading up to Christmas. We got to go see all the Christmas lights at MIS, which is Michigan International Speedway. They did a huge Christmas light display that you could drive through. It was so much fun. The four of us later literally packed into my mom's car and went. It was so just really cool and very nostalgic feeling of something that we used to do when we were little. Another thing that was really fun was um, last year we decided that for Christmas we were all going to get matching pajamas. So I bought them last year and my mom did this year. And this year it was so cool. We had uh, red and black plaid like buffalo print pajama bottoms and then she got us all matching sweatshirts that had like a little reindeer motif and our initials uh, in the middle which was so cool. We each had our own like little monogrammed sweatshirts and buffalo plaid pajama bottoms that we actually went over to my mom's on Christmas morning all in our pajamas. So me, my mom, my sister, and my fiance, Kelvin. Um, yes, if you guys didn't know, I'm engaged. And um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will already know that. You guys will have been seeing my fiance and I, Kelvin, have been together since May, and he proposed on November 10th. Uh, which I am just so over the moon about, but I'll get way more into that in the where I've been and what's been going on video right after this. So a few days before Christmas, my sister came home from Georgia and she came home on the 20th. And then that Saturday, we did a huge game night at my mom's. We started this tradition again last year where a few days before Christmas, after my sister gets home from Georgia, we all get together and just have like a little appetizers and like finger foods and we play a ton of games. And this year it was me, my mom, my sister, Calvin, and my best friend, Tyler. And we even got like prizes, which was so fun. And we played um, Heads Up. We played this game that's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but it's called That's What She Said. Definitely not suitable for children, but if y'all need like a fun card game that you will literally, two days later, your cheeks will hurt and your stomach will hurt from laughing so much, definitely give that one a go. I'll put a link to it. Um, I think I got it on Amazon last year. Uh, and I'll put, I'll put a link to it in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Christmas Eve, um, Kelvin and I had decided that instead of opening our presents to each other here at home, that we wanted to take all of our presents to my mom's and just open everything there. So we went and we dropped off our presents at my mom's house and then 
Christmas Eve we did like Christmas with our dogs so like they got to open their presents and their stockings and stuff like that because yes I am that crazy dog mom that gets my kids presents and fills their stockings. Those two stockings, the polka dotted ones, are theirs. The gray one is Watson's and the red one is Luna's. Then on Christmas morning, Calvin and I went over to my mom's house in our pajamas and we had breakfast and we opened all of our presents and then we came home for a few hours and got cleaned up and got dressed up and got my makeup and my hair all done and then we went back over to my mom's for dinner um, we watched a movie called The Family Stone, our favorite Christmas movie, like our family's favorite Christmas movie that we watch on Christmas Day every single year since it's come out, and just played more games, and it was just so relaxing and chill that we didn't really have to go anywhere, but it was nice that we didn't have to like go to like, you know, two or three different places, it was all just at my mom's. So some of my favorite gifts that I got this year, oh my lordy, we all kind of went overboard this year. So I'll start with what my mom got me. I'll just show you a few things. I'll like put pictures and stuff like here and there or wherever. Uh, the first thing that my mom got me that I was just like over the moon excited about was a teal KitchenAid. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. Just look at it. It is just gorgeous. Now I actually already have a KitchenAid, but it is the biggest one that they make. It's like one step down from like a Hobart, which is a ginormous industrial mixer. And teal is my favorite color. I love it. My life is slowly becoming like teal obsessed. The biggest reason I wanted this kind of KitchenAid is because it's a lot smaller. I believe it's the five quart. And when I'm doing like large batches of things, my big KitchenAid is the best thing in the world. Um, it still works. It's in perfect condition. But for the, like the day to day things, it's kind of annoying to get out my big KitchenAid and I just end up doing it by hand. So my mom actually got this, I believe on QVC. They were having a really, really good sale around Christmas, like Black Friday time, and she was able to get it for a really good deal. She also got us a Cuisinart pot and pan set, which was amazing. Oh my God, I love cooking with these new pots and pans. They're so amazing. And then she also got us an Olympia, four-wheel hard case luggage set because we have been doing quite a bit of traveling which again I'll get into in my next video. Just, those were like the top three things. Thank you so much mom. So moving on to what my sister got me. The coolest thing that my sister got me was a personalized journal from Erin Condren and she had pictures of me and Kelvin and her and myself and my mom and me and Tyler and our dogs and um, even a picture of me and my dad which was super super special. I cried when I opened it just because I told her that I was getting back into creative journaling. More, It's kind of like almost like scrapbooking and journaling mixed is the best way I can describe it. And it just gives me a very cre another creative outlet that I really like to do. And also it helps on days where I'm in a lot of pain that I can focus on something. I was really, really excited about that and I have definitely already started filling it up. I've been thinking actually if you guys would like some creative journaling videos, um, let me know in the comments because I think that'd be really fun to show you guys like what I use and how I do them. Um, but if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below and I definitely can do that for you and start a new series on the channel. And then she also got me a Bath and Body Works gift card and a Sephora gift card and I'll post little pictures of what I got at Sephora. Super, super excited. I am now totally obsessed with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes uh, Mascara. Oh my God game changer and I can't believe that it's taking me what almost seven years to try it. I got a little sample and I fell in love with it and right now I believe they still have it. If they do I'll put a link in the description box of that little set that I just showed you. It's like 15 bucks and you get a full size lights camera lashes mascara with it plus two other products when the full size mascara is like either 18 or 24 dollars just by itself. Super good deal. If you guys been wanting to try it definitely a good time to do it now while it's still in stock from the Christmas season. I think I just checked yesterday and it was still um, in stock on Sephora's website. So that's awesome. Then moving on to what Kelvin got me. Oh my goodness. That boy hit it out of the park. I'm so 
just grateful and thankful for everything that I got. First thing he got me was the new Harry Potter Goblet of Fire Illustrated Edition book. I have the other three. Oh my god, I am so in love with these. I'm so excited that they started coming out with illustrated editions. And now I have all four. If you guys didn't know, I'm a ginormous Harry Potter fan. Like obsessed like my 30th birthday was completely harry potter themed i even have a little harry potter tattoo and i'm in my living room right now so you can't really see it but on that bookshelf and on that bookshelf is completely filled of all of my my harry potter collection um i do have a video of my harry potter collection it was from a few years ago but i will link it in the description box i've been thinking about doing an update on that video because i've gotten a lot more stuff the most thoughtful gift Probably one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever received was, a, I'll put a picture right here. Um, if you guys did not know, um, we lost my dad in September to lung cancer. And Kelvin's dad actually passed away two years ago. Um, and he has this little cube it's like a glass cube that has stuff in it. You'll see it. I'll post a picture of each of ours. Um, and so for Christmas this year, he actually made my mom, my sister, and myself individual cubes. Mine and my sister's was for our dad that passed away in September. And my mom's was for her boyfriend that passed away about 10 years ago. And I knew that he was making me one as well but I thought it was just going to be the same as my sister's um but it wasn't it was very personalized to me it had my favorite color of teal and then it had the movie reel and the reason for that is because my dad and I were huge huge movie buffs and like we could watch the same movie a thousand times and still love it from the first time we ever saw it and then on the bottom there's little movie slates and um one says dad and then one has a heart and then it just has my dad's name and the year he was born and the year he passed away the next thing that he got me is also one of the most beautiful beautiful thoughtful things i've ever received in my life and i'm actually wearing it right now um, we decided that this year we were going to get each other one main present and then, you know, a few smaller things. So he asked me, you know, what do you want like your main present to be? And I showed him a Tiffany & Co necklace and bracelet. And I said, you could pick either one. They're right around the same price range. Um, because I couldn't honestly decide which one I liked more and then once I showed him I was kind of hoping that he would get me the necklace and it was so funny Christmas Eve we're sitting in the living room like right here finishing wrapping our presents to go over to my mom's and he looked at me and he was like babe I'm really really sorry I know you really wanted a Tiffany bracelet or necklace but I wasn't able to get you one, but I got you a lot of other stuff that I think you're absolutely gonna love. And I was like, honey, don't worry. Like, that's totally fine. So Christmas morning, we are at my mom's opening presents and he hands me, it was my last present from him that I opened. And it was just a little gift bag like this. And so it had a bunch of tissue paper in it. And then this little box that was wrapped individually three different times. Of course, he's not gonna make it easy for me. Um, so I unwrap it, I unwrap it, and I unwrap it again. Inside the box was a bunch of more tissue paper and then inside of that was the little baby blue Tiffany & Co bag. And inside of that was my necklace. It is just a very, very dainty uh, silver chain. And then on it, I'll post a bigger picture so you guys can see it, but it has the little Tiffany blue heart and then the other heart just says like return to tiffany and co which is their classic um little jewelry item i guess you could say but i'm so i have not taken it off since christmas day 
I love it so, so much. I cried when I got it because I this is something I've been wanting for like 10, 15 years. Um, and it just was so, so special that he got it for me. And it was on Christmas. It was our first Christmas together. And it was just really, really sweet and special. My best friend Tyler got me a Harry Potter origami book, which, oh my God, I didn't even know that thing existed. And he said he found it, I think like on Amazon, but it's also like at Walmart and Barnes and Noble. So I'll put links to everything that I did mention in the description box, like everything that you guys just saw pictures to. The surprise that was in the title of this video is a awesome, awesome giveaway. I am so excited to do this. I have been collecting things for a long time for a few different giveaways that I'm gonna be doing on my channel throughout the next few months or year, you never know. So let me show you guys what you can win. So the reason I'm doing this giveaway for you guys is honestly just to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support through this ginormous gap and absence that I've had on YouTube. I try to stay active on my other social media sites, on Instagram and my Mstems Facebook page. I'm also really trying hard to get better at posting on Twitter. So anyway, enough of that. Let's show you guys the prizes. So the first thing that you guys could win is this awesome, awesome Soap and Glory set. This is called the Glow Maintenance Kit. It has a bunch of different items in here, plus an awesome, really, really big makeup bag as well. I got one of these for myself. I've used all the products. I absolutely love them. And this makeup bag is so handy for so many different things. I absolutely love it. So inside of this bag, you guys are going to get the Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel, which, oh my God, is one of my faves. The Scrub Of Your Life Body Butter, the uh, Righteous Body Butter, the Face Soap and Glory 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. Good Lord, that's a long word. Sentence? Word? No, not one word. A sentence. Uh, hand Food and the Bright and Beautiful Radiance Boosting Boosting Mask. Woo! Words. So this is one of the first prizes that you guys are going to win, and I hope you guys are really excited. I love Soap and Glory products. They're so amazing. And you guys basically kind of get a full range of their bath products and body products to try out in one big kit. The next thing that you guys are going to be able to win is some brushes. This one is by Cala and it is their Pro Contour brush in their Rose Bliss collection. I have this brush as well and it is awesome for contour. It is so so easy it's super super soft i love the shape of it and of course the color is rose gold which is so so pretty then if you guys have been longtime subscribers of mine you will know that i am obsessed and like probably their number one fan of real techniques i've been using their brushes for years and years and years i still have like my first set ever from like seven years ago still looks like the day I took them out of the package. I clean them once a week, they last you forever. So this one is their starter eye set. You get five brushes in there, plus their makeup brush holder, uh, the makeup case, which they have actually done away with. So you actually really can't find these anymore with the case. They've changed to like little cups. So this is kind of like a nostalgia piece, but I absolutely love it. You get the deluxe crease, crease brush, base shadow brush, accent brush, fineliner brush, and their brow brush. And of course, the little awesome case to go with it. Next thing you guys are gonna be winning is actually something you don't really see on my channel, but speaking of movies and my dad, this is one of my favorite movies. It is The Greatest Showman. If you guys have not seen this, oh my god, you need to. The cast, the cinematography, the storyline, the costuming, the makeup, everything is just insane. Again, I'm sorry if you guys can hear Luna in the background. She's just pissed because she has to be in her kennel right now while I'm filming because 
when she's out, she like demands attention 24 seven. So anyway, but I got this on DVD for you guys. I hope you like it. If you haven't seen it now, hopefully you'll get a chance to and you love it as much as I do. Then some makeup -y goodies. Uh, the first one is the Anastasia or Anastasia, as they, you know, the proper people say. I say Anastasia, whatever. It is one of her glow kits, and this is in Aurora. I have this. I'm actually on my second palette now. That's how much I love this. It is so, so beautiful, and I really hope you guys like it. So those are the colors in there. I get so many compliments when I uh, have this palette on as my highlight and I just hope that you guys really like it. So kind of going on the theme of nostalgia, I picked up one of the awesome, awesome Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. This one is the Bomb Bomb palette. It is one of my faves. I actually have a second one of these because I've used it so, so much. But I don't know, I just, I love this palette. It is kind of a classic. So I picked one up for you guys. And there are all the beautiful colors. I'm not touching it so you guys, you know, no cross contamination. Uh, comes with a mirror. Ah, smells like chocolate. If you get some like in your mouth, it tastes like chocolate too. Not saying that you should lick a palette, but you know, hey ho, you do you, boo. Um, if that's what you want to do with this, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but it smells good and the colors are stunning. Again, if you guys have been longtime subscribers of mine, you guys will know I have acrylics. I love having my acrylic nails. It is just kind of a part of me. And sometimes I get sent things like these. And these are um, the Impress press on, press on Manicures. And it just says One Step Gel. And these are some beautiful, beautiful little false nails. So that is what they look like and they are just so, so pretty. I actually seriously would take like this design to my nail salon because I am just kind of in love with it. But since I have acrylics, I figured you guys would like some of these if you don't have acrylics. <laughs> Two more makeup -y goodies. I know I'm spoiling you guys, but you know what? You guys spoil me with love and support, so I just wanted to do this for you guys. So the first one is a deluxe size sample of a Tarte blush in Party. I get a lot of these in like little kits, so I have a bunch of them. So I tucked one away for you guys. That is the color. It is so pretty. I feel like this would work for so many skin tones. If you're super light and even all the way if you are pretty dark, I think this is just a very universal, beautiful, beautiful color. And the last thing in this giveaway is a Becca product. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured Cream in Persecco Pop. I have one of these. I love it. And of course, you know, Jaclyn Hill made these kind of like blow up in the YouTube community, in the beauty community. I am not gonna touch it because it has its little protective seal on it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, like, oh my God, amazing highlight. The other thing I love to do with this is I put this on first. It's not what I have on today. I should have, but I actually do have champagne pop as my highlight today. I mean, look at that, look at that is just beaming. But what I really like to do sometimes is I put this on and then I put champagne pop over it. <whistles> Honey, let me tell you, you'll be going from space, but in a damn good way. So guys, that is everything in this giveaway. I really hope that you like all the products that I picked out for you guys. All of the rules, how to enter, all the qualifications, when it ends, all that stuff is in the description box below. So please, before you enter, check out the rules, make sure you're eligible so that one of you guys will win this awesome, awesome giveaway. I love you guys so much. Thank you again just so much for all the support and love and patience, especially as I've taken this break. But we are going to make 2020 a year to remember on this channel. I have so many amazing, fun things planned 
And again, I will talk a lot about that in my very next video, which you guys will see super, super soon. So I love you guys very, very much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little red button, subscribe, become a member of my Unstrums family, and leave me a comment and I think that's pretty much it. Don't forget to check out all my social media sites too. They are in the description box of every video I do. And I'll have links to as much things as I, as I have talked about in the description box as well. I'm getting tongue tied, so that means it is a wrap. I love you guys and I'll see you again very, very soon.